Hey, orange one here. Um, we're going to be trying to go and do the quest for Nazareth, but, or Nazarene or whatever it's called. I just was looking closely at these cows and I realized that they're completely still. You know, like those like things that you sometimes see on the high side of the freeway, like not real cows, but like the statues of cows. Yeah, it just kind of weirded me out. Come on, Tail Worlds. You got this beautiful animation of us running with like that tail. Look at that hair on that tail. It's beautiful. But then right next to it, there's that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you got to critique what you love. Right? I'm just trying to make it better. It's kind of weird seeing like all of this is now Vlandian and that kind of mirrors the real world, you know, in terms of like the Normans coming over and taking out like the British, you know. Um, just a weird observation there. I honestly don't know if these are good prices or not for any of these goods. It seems to say that I can get a good amount of profit from some solace trade, but I, I think I don't believe it because it's like all these worn torn areas. They're like, oh, go sell us at this place. It's like falling apart. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to do that. I will get, um, old workhorses. Not seen that before. I'll get a few more of these guys and some more horses. I think that we've gotten to the point where we can start um, upping our horse game. And there's no one for me to recruit here. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is where the person is for the quest. We'll see. We'll find the person. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like there's anyone special in here. I bet it's like just someone like I find up here on this menu or something. Uh, if I look at J, I need to meet um, Arzagos. That's seen in Marinoth. So he's here. Okay, so um, there you are. He's in Arzagoth's house. Where's your house? Hold on, I'm just gonna. Um, go to the tavern, leave the tavern, and see where his house is. See how cool of a dude this is. I mean, that's that's the best judge of character to me, is how close do you really live to the pub? Like, you know, not in all seriousness, but, like, somewhat. Um, so, if I want to do... If I mark it as my active quest, or I don't think I can do, like, active quest or something, like, mark it. Um, where is he? I'm not seeing his house. His house isn't really displayed. Right? Unless it's like up here. And it's just like there's maybe too much stuff going on. Okay. I, I would wanted to find him. And this actually looks like a super cool city. Actually, I kind of want to just go up to the, um, the Lord's Hall. And just kind of check this out. Oh, look at that! What? Okay, well, I need to I need to check this out. I'm sorry. If I can, if it will let me. So there's like a little way to go up into these little ho holes in the wall, kind of thing. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, it looks like I can go around here. This is super cool. Look at this. Like, honestly, look at that. And what, this goes down? Okay. To the main entrance. Man. I mean, there's a little too many ways for people to get up to that one point for it to be really controllable, but it it's, looks cool. Looks super cool. Don't uh, step in the wrong place where we're gonna be... What is going on here? Is this, like almost looks like a series of steps or, or like a ladder and then what this is like some room wait what there's what no way there's a way like this that is crazy look at this thing and then there's this little wow that little nook there 
then if you go here, what, where do you go? Oh, there's just like a little other thing. I see, I gotcha. I gotcha. I like it. I like it a lot, man. This is a really cool Lord's Hall. I mean, I like the, um, the other ones that we've been seeing more in the south. But this is such a large open space. It really, I like that design a whole lot. I mean, is there anything special up here, or is this just like where it ends? If that's just where it ends, and that seems a little wasteful. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go to the top. Uh, where are you, dude? Yeah, who, who are you? Like, honestly. I believe, okay. I actually want to read this, uh, Calatros, okay. Okay. I am honestly, I'm not going to read through all this right now because it's, I'm sure there's a million people who've already done this. I too would see the Empire destroyed. Yeah, we're destroying the Empire. Oh, so this dude's like a traitor. Cool. Okay, you're my man, dude. Living in this Vlandian town. Kinda makes sense that it's like he's living in a place not controlled by the Vlandians. Or uh not controlled by the Empire. Okay, this just ends up here. This is a super cool little house. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Where's the smoke go though? Oh god. Yeah, not all places had like proper air. Uh, circulation. That was actually pretty common. Excuse me, I'm just gonna like check out your whole living quarters. Two different beds in here? Okay. Is that like the master bedroom up there then? Why are there scrolls just on there? That's super bizarre. Sorry, I don't know. There's, like, I feel like I've done a lot of combat and like I want to do more of like the... What? What? Where... Where are we going? Okay, um... Yeah, I wasn't gonna find that house. That's... Kinda dumb. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see, so if I look at quests now... Assemble the banner. Uh, find the hideout that he told us about. Okay, uh... So there's this hideout right here. Oh wow, this actually has like almost no bandits. That's perfect. I wasn't looking to um, go and try and have to take out like 50 bandits. Oh, it's so annoying. It's like so annoying that I haven't really done it because I've actually heard other people talking about how annoying it is. I'm like, I'm not doing that, you know? Yeah, these guys are actually gonna shoot at me, huh? Yeah, these guys can take some shots at me. Are my allies coming with me? I don't think they are. Yeah, come at me. Yeah, just go get them, guys. I'm gonna just tell them to charge. Uh, don't charge anymore, guys. Stay with me. Yeah. Okay, that was that was um not ideal. Took a little little damage, but we're okay. I think I might try and arch a couple if I can see them before they see me. There's that dude right there. Oh, uh, I don't know where the arrow, the other arrow came from. Can I tell people to just charge? Just get in there, please. Please stop getting wrecked. There we go, Force Bandit down. I don't know who they're going for next. Um, I don't see, I, I don't think I could make that shot. Uh, there's another dude that's like right there, out in that field. 
Yeah, I got him though. Okay, that's all of them. Cool. That wasn't so bad. I actually hit that dude in the neck. The last one. Uh, yeah, I want to duel the leader. I'm doing pretty good health-wise. Yeah, but not with the bow. Ooh. Ooh, I'm actually... I could actually lose this. Oh, there we go. Our shield was pretty much done. That was actually much closer than I thought it was going to be. That... that axe of his really wrecked my my shield our wicker shield and it is only made of wicker so i do need to keep that in mind man if i had lost to that bandit leader that would have been bad and i had the number advantage so i probably should have just ran uh just railroaded them okay, so we got another piece uh so what do i need to do for the third one oh we probably need to go meet a few then huh so where is, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to make my way over there and I should be able to get enough recruits, um, for me to be comfortable. Um, actually, you know what we could do, what we really should do is we should, um, send one of my companions out to, for, uh, get more recruits. So if I go to L and then I go to parties. Great new. I know that you're with me. I think you're with me as well, but I'm not 100% sure. And I know that you're with me too. Um, I'm going to give you quite a few decent units. I don't have a lot of like super high level units myself as well anyways, so I can't really give you too much more. I want to give you over 40% so that you'll follow me. Uh, when commanded to, and also be able to, you know, defend yourself. So you're actually, oh wow, you're already over there. You're chasing down those looters. Perfect. Okay. See, like, she's already doing a fantastic job. And I think I'm gonna just kind of let her do her thing. Um, nah, we'll, we'll get involved. No point in having more, um, never mind. Wow, I just, that is not a good face right there. Like, ah, uh, my eyes. Um, no, I, I am gonna have her stay in our army. I was thinking of having her wander around a little bit and then calling her to me. But I'm, I'm thinking she might take a long time to get to us, you know? And so we might not want to rely on that. Yeah, these people really do not like me. Probably should be not trying to get recruits here. Is there anywhere that would be maybe more amicable to me? And the Geta is not too far off from us, actually. Let's go down there. I'm in no rush to get to Epicrotia. I mean, it's probably actually getting sieged down right now. Is anyone sieging it? Nope. It does not look like anyone is actively sieging it. Yeah, I'll just collect a little bit of troops from Legata's populations, I think. And the right there, we just got six recruits. That's got to be pretty much all of them. And I don't think the wars come to this part of the Empire uh, recently. Wow, eight units. Yeah, they still don't like me. They uh they have a good price on hardwood, so uh they can they can complain all they want. <laughs> it's fine. Uh sure, let's go to the city. Yeah, this is like literally the opposite direction of what I wanna be doing. Oh man. It looks like I've I must have cleared this out recently. Did I do that in the last episode? I can't remember kind of blurred together a little bit this game <laughs> I'm sure it's the same for anyone who's uh still watching it as well if you've been watching from the beginning it's probably like uh, how many times have you gone by that place and done that <laughs> and I was talking you know about my brother about like how it is a little bit re repetitive but I mean that's fine all games are repetitive 
it's kind of just like the nature of a game and like simulating things is that you're gonna have some repetition I mean yeah a game being repetitive can definitely be a huge downside but it's not if the thing that you're doing repeatedly is fun I do have issues with some of the repetitions of the micromanagement that you have to do. It'd be nice if you could just be like, hey, you companion. Instead, you know, like how they go off and they go recruit people? Like, I saw there was a mod to do that for your uh, faction, or for your, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, wow. What? What? That grain. Look at that. That's. I haven't seen, like, a price like that on grain in so long. Okay, it looks like we're getting close to the city that we may be trying to siege. I'm not sure. We don't really have the numbers to siege right now. Um, there's a number of people jumping around between factions there. Were those people from the Northern Empire? I think it is, because the Northern Empire, I'm pretty sure this is their last city here. Um, right here. And it doesn't look like it's being sieged actively. Wait, what? Oh, the Sturgeons. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. I think that's all of the lords in the same city. Um, we definitely do not have the numbers to take that on, though. There's a lot of um, lords hanging out around here. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. They've only got like two or three units at, uh, individually. <laughs> it looks like they've been crushed a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any real fights from them anytime soon, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone's going to roll out with like a couple hundred troops. I think I could probably just request um, people come to me and that we try and then siege this down. I'm going to do that. Why don't we just say, hey, anybody who's not actively in an army, come to me. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I'm not going to actually try and siege because they have over twice my numbers. And so if I do that, they'll sally out and they'll just kick my butt. Wait, where are you? What were you guys doing in there? Were you prisoners in there or something? Like, I had seen them on my map as well, that they're in there. Wait, what? Are you- you're seriously- you're talking to me? What? Is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not- <laughs> I'm not gonna fight that. <laughs> That was literally insane. And that bushwhacker was impressed, though. Yeah, I don't know if it's charm. I'm actually curious if it's charm or... Um... Yeah, I don't think charm actually um, will make them join up with you. Um, but maybe it's... Maybe it's leadership, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not I don't I don't really know enough about it. Okay, well we're just gonna kinda wander around and see if I can get any more of their lord Oh what? Oh what 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 hold on. A ton of them just left. They're all trying to engage that lord over there. Well 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 well. <laughs> what do we have here? I'm never going to catch these guys, there's no way, but I might as well push them away from their city. <laughs> oh man. They're trying to, they are, they are actually doing like guerrilla warfare right now, but they, uh, they got caught. <laughs> oh man. This makes me feel a little bit better about being crushed uh, not too long ago. Oh, they're shooting at us. I mean, there's actually 60 of them. That is more than I thought that they had, but... I mean, just our horses. 
like seven horse archers could take out 60 people. It'd take a little while, but they could do it. Is that? That must be their cab, right? Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh. Come on. No. I just am just trash right now. Can't hit a shot. There we go. You're the one that's going to be killing units, though. <laughs> you just literally can't hit anything. There. Sturgeon. You know, I I was uh, watching... In, I've been watching a lot of like historical things on YouTube. There's some really good channels out there. I did not realize this. Like, really good historical channels. And there was one of them talking about, like, the... I think it's the Kivian Rus. They were talking about the, um... The people who moved to Rus. Uh, I think they were, like, the pagan people who moved there to, uh... Basically get away from the, uh, Christians who were taking over, uh... Like, Denmark or something. Or was it... Uh, maybe it wasn't Denmark. It was one of the Scandinavian countries. But it was basically all the pagans were like, yeah. Y'all ruined the neighborhood, you know. I mean, Christians did kind of ruin the neighborhood. <laughs> For the pagans. Let's be real. They were pretty brutal. I don't know, was it this? Was it on this channel, or this uh, series where I was talking about like the whole like religion? Yeah, I was. It was like Bannerlord. I was talking about how they took that out of the game and like African Americans and like Christianity. Like, I realize that's also such a stupid thing to say because like you could say the exact same thing about Europeans and Christianity. But I kind of do feel that way a little bit myself where I'm like, man, they killed so many of my ancestors. Where did that spear come from? <laughs> like, is that a throwing spear? Is that what that is? It's a long spear to be throwing, isn't it? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, it's a fine steel spear. Yeah, no, that's not a throwing weapon. So where did it come from? It's just like, seriously, it looked like it popped out of nowhere. Okay, you are free to go. You're all free to go. I mean, you only have like one city left, so I'm not too worried about you because you're just going to spawn in that city and I'll be able to crush you again when we take the city. <laughs> oh man. There are so many lords here. A lot of them look like Kuzates, which is kind of weird because, um, and one of them was the mercenaries. <laughs> Their faces. They look so happy. <laughs> there we go. That's that's a pretty good boost to our numbers there. Uh, we'll get a few archers. I mean, these guys really should go infantry. What is that yellow bar? Current troop experience. Oh, okay. So they have like a collective pool or something. Is that how this works? It doesn't keep track of the individual units, it keeps track of their pool for them. And then when they've got enough, it bumps one up. I think that's... I think that's what's going on there. But I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Uh, these guys we're not going to be able to recruit. Not worth picking up. Because you know me, I don't really do the whole carrying prisoners for um, like Renown or anything. I don't think we're going to get here in time. But maybe we will. Yeah, actually, no, we will. Okay, um, I'm just going to send troops. There's 20 of them. Right. Man, these are all like ex-imperials. Oh, look at that eye. Like, a lot of these lords look like they're people from the empire that fell. That would be so crazy to live in, like, fallen Roman territories as, like, a Roman person. You know? Like, wouldn't you just be, like, terrified that people are just gonna, like, um, 
like seek out revenge. I mean, I'm sure there were like a lot of revenge killings against the Romans after that time period. But like, I'm just looking at those dudes and I'm like, man, this land ain't your land anymore, you know? And I like, kind of is how it went in the real world. Just, you know, it's kind of strange seeing the lords again, but uh, we've been playing a uh, snowball version of uh, Bannerlord where we don't go around executing everyone. I'll probably do that with another character. I don't know. It's also just kind of... Oh, look, the art, they're smaller now. Oh, what's Saron? Who are you uh, fighting there, Saron? Were you supposed to be joining up with me? I think they were supposed to be joining up with me. Are you guys seriously not gonna? Okay. Um, I'll crush. I'll crush you guys out here too. <laughs> Wait, can I? <laughs> oh man, I thought we were gonna get this guy to join me. Is it just me or is this standing out more? Yeah, I think that they've they've definitely made that have like a black outline. I like that. Thank you, thank you, Tail Worlds. That's a lot better. Yeah, we're not going to get any critical success here, so we're not going to get you. All right, let's do it. There's only 30 of them. But we're going to do it just follow your so yeah! just cuz, to be honest, follow your yaws. Where yeah, all those horse archers are really over there. They're really high up. You gonna start shooting from up there? I'm looking, I'm looking. No shots coming. Not yet. Okay, here we go. I do love the animations. Like, honestly. I think they did a really nice job with like the archery animations, the horse animations. It all looks really good. Aw, oh, huh. I thought I was gonna get under that shield. Oh, is there more contrast with the crosshair as well now? Yeah, there is. Do you see that? what I mean? Like, the crosshair has got, like, a blackish, like, hue to it. Around the back. Or around the, um, especially around, like, the up and down corners, like, diagonals. There's a lot more black around there. I don't know if that's necessary. Kind of is a little bit intrusive on the, on the view. Are you one of mine or one of theirs? You're one of mine. You know what I mean? Like, I I like Metro Exodus where there's literally no crosshair. Like that's that's how it should be. In these types of games, if you ask me. Like honestly, that's like one of my favorite game designs is the no UI game design where they put everything on like the character's arms. Like I I didn't play uh, Dead Space, but my brother did, and he was telling me they did that, and that's that's really cool when people put an effort into doing that. Just like it's so seamless, you know, like where you don't have to have something that dis distracts from your immersion. I'm all about that immersion, man. Um, I mean, three hundred against four hundred. I think they would still sally out. We'll just wait just a little bit longer by their gates, just to make sure no one else is able to get in. Yeah, just, just keep your distance, guys. Collect your troops if you really want to, but you're not getting in the city. Uh, oh, we're going to war against the Vlandians. Hmm. Well, probably a good thing that I didn't have uh, my companion go around recruiting there then, huh? <laughs> I've got half a mind to give one of my companions just like 20 cavalry and just letting them go and catch them. But I think that it's not worth it. I'll, I'll just let our numbers get bigger. Oh, what's this right here? Um, I think they're actually going to lose the Vlandians there. We have about a one-to-one -one ratio, which is good enough for me. And we've got 39 days to siege this place down. That is not uh, very long. So we'll have to be smart about this. Uh, that's... I mean, how many people are coming my way? I think a fair amount, right? And actually it looks like 
There's other lords that I can have come to me. They're closer, actually. Sweet, yeah. And hopefully they bring food this time. I mean, if we get all those lords, we won't really need food. We can, we'll probably just be able to bum rush, which is actually something I think I'd be willing to do. Uh, if we have, like, a 2 to 1 ratio of troops. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I think we'll have a 2 to 1 ratio. We'll have, like, 800-ish. And given the fact that our uh, our troops are also getting more experience just by us sitting here, that should, that should help out a good deal, too. I know that we don't need to really siege this place down to talk to this person, but I like the idea of it. We're like, you're gonna tell me! Oh, the quest timed out. That's a shame. Um, yeah, let's just work on, on the rushing this place. That's gonna be the focus. Rote is under assault, so it looks like the Vlandians are being sieged as well. Um, anybody nearby? I mean, you're two days away. I'm just gonna honestly try and get all the lords. There's a ton of lords though. I don't... Uh, let's see. How many people... Okay, that's the number they're currently with us. Yeah, we'll be able to easily get double the numbers that they've got in there. I would like some Ongars maybe, though. Maybe while we're getting more people to come. We'll also need to keep an eye on the food. 29 days till food, that's... Uh, yeah, we're fine. The Ongars, I don't know if they're going to actually be very effective, if at all. Um in an actual battle like you know real time i know that they are very effective usually like you know like if you just kind of wait on the map um oh we gotta maintain that cohesion saw that jump down there and do i have more recruits yes i do I don't know if you have to recruit these guys, if that like helps with like getting more or not. I feel like it would, but I also don't really know. Okay, so we actually have just about twice their numbers, and we've got a number of things ready. I am just gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to include this in the- I think we'll include this in this episode. Yeah. Okay, we have more than twice their numbers. Uh, I am just gonna get another fire on guard, then we'll attack, I think. Oh, look, we actually have even more troops. Okay, we've got like pretty much three times their their numbers. We'll get this uh, other on guard and we'll, we'll attack. So, lead the assault. <laughs> Oh man, I, sh I should have upgraded. It looked like we had some troops to upgrade. Eh, it's like four troops, five troops, right? This episode might go a little long because we're doing this, but I'm okay with it. Just auto-deploy. All the walls and everything are intact. Cool. Yep, begin the assault. Let's see how the AI does with this. And with our two on guards, we should be able to maybe counter that but see that's gonna be our problem is that they've got on guards shooting at our ram so our ram could get taken out it would be nice to shoot the people with that on guard that are trying to take out the ram where's that on guard at uh blah, blah, blah. i think i'm seeing a lot of archers like a ton of archers but is that the on guard right there that does not look like an on guard that looks like a like um Whatchamacallit, that's the Ongar, yep, you're the ones that I need to, I need to get. Hello archers, you're very important in the siege, I don't know if you realize just how important you are. Yeah, I don't like the crosshair like this, that was a very, very powerful shot, apparently. I don't know if I can uh, hit the people loading it doesn't look like I can. 
I can at least shoot the archers there around it, and then hopefully that will mean that we have a better chance of taking out the people. Or they'll have less uh, people to man it, you know? Yeah, like what I'm thinking. Okay, it looks like that Ongar is aiming at the siege tower. Does that mean that they took out the ram? How's our ram going? Yeah, I think... Oh, no, the ram looks like it, it just about made it. Just about. It's pretty beat up. It's actually super beat up. Man, look at that thing. It's like the roofs on it are just completely destroyed. I think if it gets to this point with still being intact, then it's uh, it's good, right? This is a pretty intense siege. There's a ton of them actually arching at us and us arching at them. This is actually really cool. Okay, the tower is pretty much there. So it looks like their siege equipment or was not enough to counter ours. Okay. Any uh, any barrels? Okay, it looks like we're starting to get the slowdown from people getting in. Yeah, the ram's at the gate. The towers are pretty much... That one is on, but this other one does not look like it's there yet. I feel like I'm a sports commentator, you know. Uh, let's just take a second. Let's just get a couple of those. There we go, there's one. Gotta make every arrow count, right? Ah, oh, I say as I miss. Oh no, they're despawning. Don't despawn on me, it's not all of you. There, that's... Oh, that Ongar is still firing. We have so many troops, I think we just had some spawn in, because the Ongar was like firing back. Are there more spawned in? Or something? No, doesn't look like it. Oh look, a quiver, a quiver. I think people are starting to die on those walls, trying to take them. Oh man, that archer I think just moved out of the way. It was pretty good timing there actually. Nope, archer, dang it, he literally just moved the last second. Why are you guys like running over there? Is it the ram? Oh yeah, you got the ram in. Looks like we're gonna go in pretty soon with that ram. I think I'm gonna try and get in on the ram. Yeah, taking that wall does not seem to be going well. But it looks like we're f funneling people in. And they're prime targets for these guys. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, my boys as they try and make their run. In. I mean, I would do the same thing, but not gonna work here. Um, are there people still in there shooting us? I bet there are. I just can't see them. Okay, we're in the courtyard though. Okay, let's see what we can be a part of. Let's get up in there. They're all on the wall. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to really see any combat firsthand. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like we will. <laughs> we're just trying to path to it. Yeah, it sounds like that's what's going on at, up right there. Are there? There must be enemies just out there or something. Just not seeing them. Hello. Yeah, we probably should have just ran around the outside if I wanted to get a better view. But, oh look, there's a couple of them over there. Yeah, they're basically holding out against the uh, where the siege tower was. Wait, dude, that guy is, like, naked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Couldn't give me the second one. I think we did pretty good though. I think we just crushed the last of the uh, the empire, so I think we've already completed the, uh, the the that guy's mission of destroying the empire. I hope that doesn't break the uh, the quest line because I'm gonna have to reload this and like sneak in or something. Ah, ah, please. 
Please. No more. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.